Hi, I'm Stuart Hurwood and I looked after Lou Reed and his guitars for the last 10 years of his life. Um, I was with Lou when we went through and selected the guitars that were going to be auctioned off. Um, four, uh, three guitars and a bass guitar and I've been asked to talk about those a little bit. So Lou Reed had predominantly mainly Telecasters at that point and uh, pretty much the Danny Gatton model which there's three of those that are going in the auction. He had a lot of the, the Danny Gatton models um, and we wanted to thin out the herd, that was a part of it. He gifted one of these guitars to his friend Julian Schnabel, the um, artist. I delivered that over to him. Um, I took guitars up to the 92Y. Lou liked the idea of kids having guitars to play with and he was definitely very much into the Edges cause, you know, getting musicians to have instruments and whatnot. So there are two blonde Telecasters. These are the Danny Gatton models that I mentioned before, and they come standard with the um, Joe Barden pickups. Joe Barden, I believe, was Danny Gatton's tech, and I think it's a bit of a tip of the hat to Bill Lawrence with the design of the pickups. Anyway, these ones are standard, the, both the blonde ones are standard, and around 2004, between 2004 and 2006, I believe these would have been on tour with us, primarily as backup guitars, although Lou would often you know, use the backup guitar just so things got played. Um, Lou was a guy that didn't want things to always be the same. In fact, he tried to make every time he played a unique experience. These guitars were in the camp before I actually got into the uh, into Lou camp, so they may well have been used on something else prior to me getting there, some recording and whatever. I don't actually know, to be honest with you, but they did tour with us and they were played um, a couple of times now the third guitar, the um, gold Danny Gatton Telecaster, that was named Goldie and at one point that was one of Lou's favourite guitars and it, you can see he played, he played that guitar a real lot. Um, we started to experiment a lot with pickups on that guitar, actually a lot of different guitars, um, but that one in particular we started playing with pickups. Um, those pickups that are now in it could be Lin either Lindley Frailing pickups more likely to be Don Mayer pickups because we started to use a lot of Don Mayer pickups. We really like those. They're very um, authentic for old Telecaster sounds. Or, or alternatively, they are vintage Telecasters. Uh, Lou's been dead, what, eight years now, so it's a long time ago. I can't actually remember because that wasn't the only guitar we were um, trying different Telecaster type pickups in. We had two or three different models that we were trying. So I'm not actually sure of the model pickups in that guitar but it that, that was definitely used a lot and you could probably find videos on YouTube I've definitely seen Lou playing Goldie um, in videos probably photographs as well interestingly when we went through and started to um, select the guitars and Lou actually said oh let's you know give Goldie and I was what are you gonna give Goldie away and he's like yeah I'm over it there's um something about Lou Reed that a lot of people don't know that and that is that he didn't want to collect guitars, he didn't like old guitars, he didn't want old guitars, he said he didn't want to be a collector. He always wanted new guitars, new things, new pickups, new sounds, be moving forwards all the time. So sometimes he would like wake up one morning and his favourite guitar amp suddenly was no longer the favourite and it was, you know, moving on to something new, look for something new. Now this brings us to the Sadowski bass that um, is going into the auction. Not many people know this, but Lou Reed actually loved playing bass and often played bass on his demos and would always label it Guido bass. I don't know, we've had some debates in the camp of why Lou would call it Guido bass, but I don't actually know, but Lou did play bass on a lot of the demos and this guitar he actually used on the road, I think it was 2006 or 2007. Um, we were doing a song called Guilty. I think he originally may have recorded that with Don Cherry was on that. I don't know if it's on that Coleman as well, but it's um, Guilty. It's like a funk sort of jam type track. Anyway, for that song, Lou would use the Sadowski bass. So at that point, we had two amazing bass players in the band, Fernando Saunders and Rob Osman, rest in peace. And then Lou would pick up the bass, so we had three basses, so it was very, you could easily call Spinal Tap, Big Bottom on that one, but if you see the video, and you can see it on YouTube, I'm sure you'll find it, 
Lou's grinning from ear to ear. He just absolutely loved playing on that track. He loved playing bass. So that's the story of the Sadowski bass. I hope that um, these guitars get to good places, to good people and good homes. I know Lou would like that. Like I said, he liked the idea of kids playing guitars or you know, musicians having good instruments. And um, you know, he believed guitars should be played and not hung on walls or put in vaults. So hopefully um, these are, are, are do the job and, and you know, make some musicians happy um, and get them back playing, which would be great. Cheers.